everyone and welcome to today's video. Now this week we thought we would celebrate our invertebrates. So what is an invertebrate? Well an invertebrate is an animal that doesn't have a backbone. So think bugs and creepy coolies. Now you may have noticed that I am actually holding one of our most popular creepy coolies on my hand. This is our curly-haired tarantula, Aragog. Now, Aragog was obviously named after the massive tarantula in Harry Potter because we're big Harry Potter fans. Being a curly-haired tarantula, Aragog would have originated from Honduras in South America. Now, a curly-haired tarantula has an incredible form of defence. They actually have uricicating hairs all over their body, which they can flick at people and their hairs are curly, hence the name curly-haired tarantula. So when they're scared, the first thing that they do is that they will flick these hairs, and these hairs are really itchy. It feels to humans a little bit like if you've been stung by stinging nettles. So it's not horrendous, but it's not a nice feeling either. Now our tarantula does have venom, so if she were to bite you, it would hurt, but it's not going to hurt more than a bee or a wasp sting. In fact, it's only really going to have any effect on the animals she eats. Now, what do tarantulas eat, do we think? That's it, they eat other small invertebrates. So our lovely Aragog is a massive fan of mealworms, waxworms and grasshoppers. They're her favourite things to eat. Aragog spins her webs from the back of her body. So she would spin her webs out in front of her burrow in the forest and if an insect were to tread on her webs, she would run out and catch them. Now, she normally eats food that she catches straight away. She doesn't normally spin it into tiny little cocoons and save it for later. She's more of an opportunistic eater. Curly haired tarantulas get to about six inches in leg diameter. Now, the males only live about seven years, whereas the females can live up to 20 years. Being an arachnid, Aragog has got eight legs but she also has two clitoris as well as two fangs. Aragog has got tiny hooks on each of her eight legs, which help her to hold onto the surface that she is walking on. You can ever so slightly feel these in your hand if you're holding her. One of the coolest things about Aragog is that she is a ground dwelling tarantula. Now this means that she actually spins her webs onto the floor. So where she'd live in the wild, she would spin her webs out in front of her burrow. And then if an insect were to go onto the webs she would feel this and she would be able to run out and catch them. Did you know that when spiders have babies their babies are called spiderlings or slings for short? One of the coolest things about tarantulas is that when they need to grow they actually shed their skin a little bit like reptiles. We've actually got some sheds here to show you. Now obviously their sheds are incredibly delicate because there are no longer any muscles holding the skin in place. So we've actually got a box of bits, which is a little bit gross, but we love to use this for education. Some people are a little bit nervous around spiders, so we like to use their molts to show people how soft they are and also to show people their incredible fangs. So thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you've enjoyed learning something about our incredible tarantula, Aragon. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.